Mikey, who's... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, chapter 16 through 17. Uh, 1611 King James Version Bible. You know what it is. Ehus prophesies against Bashai. Eli succeeded him. Zimri conspiring against Ehus prophesied. Wait, no, conspiring against Eli succeeded him. Zimri executed the soldiers. Forces Zimri desperately to burn himself. The kingdom being divided. Omri um, prevailed against Timni. Omri um, built if Samaria. Uh, I think Samaria is like something you'll commonly hear if you're one of them conspiracy kind of people. They talk about this. So uh, if I'm right, or even if I'm wrong, but if I'm right, that should be proof that there's pertinence uh, to modern day uh reality written in the oldest chapters of the bible uh a lot of people like to kind of talk in a way that would imply like oh you know the bible is talking about fantasy or, no 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 if you do your research and break down the trans translations of these words right uh and the pertinence to where they correlate to today. It's a timeline, a chronological timeline from the beginning to current to end. His wicked reign. Ahab succeeded him. Ahab's most wicked reign. Joshua's curse upon Hail the builder of Jericho. Then the word of the Lord came down to Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Bashar, saying, For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust, made thee prince over my people Israel, and thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam, and has my people Israel to sin, has made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins. Behold, I will take away the posterite of Bashar and the posterite of his house and will make that house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Him that died for Bashar in the city shall the dogs eat, and him that died for his in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. Now the rest of the acts of Bashar and what he did and his might are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. So Bashar slept with his fathers and was buried in Tezai and Allah's son was reigned in his stead. And also by the hand of the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, came the word of the Lord against Bashar and against his house, even for all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord and provoking him to anger with the work of his hands and being like the house of Jeroboam. And because he killed him in the twentieth and sixth year, Hesai, king of Judah, began to lie to the son of Bashar to reign over Israel and Tezai two years. And his servant Zimri, captain of half his chariots, conspired against him as he was in Tezai, drinking himself drunk in the house of Ezra, Arza, steward of his house in Tarza. And Zimri went in and smote him and killed him. And in the twenty and seventh year, Isaac king of Judah and reigned in his stead. And it came to pass when he became began to reign as soon as he stayed on his throne that he slew all of the highs of Bashar. He left not he left him not one that pisseth against the wall. Neither his kin folks nor his friends. God damn. He slew all of the <laughs> He left him not one that pisseth against the wall. <laughs> Boy, there'll be bullshit. Y'all y'all sleep on this Bible for real, but I ain't gonna tell y'all. Fuck y'all. Y'all sleep on this Bible. This Bible really some man say like, this the Bible well my version at least. Uh y'all got them cracker approved versions. But see my version, the real nigga version, uh yeah, they, they get active in here. Every other page they spin in a block. Uh so this the most 
this the livest thing you can read. Uh, let's see, where was I? Noah, his friends. Thus did Zimri destroy all of the highs of Bashar according to the word of the Lord, which he spake against Bashar by Jehu the prophet. For all the sins of Bashar and the sins of Eli his son, by which they sinned and by which they made Israel to sin and provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. Mm. And that sound like America. Now the rest of the acts of Eli and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? And the twenty and seven years I king of Judah, Zimri reigned seven days in Tezai, and the people were encamped against Gibbet, Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. And the people that were encamped heard say Zimri, okay. Uh, let's see where is that. Okay, Zimri had the spot conspired, and had also slain the king. Wherefore all Israel made Omri the captain of the host, king over Israel that day in the camp. And Omri went up from Gibbethon, and all Israel with him, and they besieged Chazai. And it came to pass when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the palace of the king's house and burnt the king's house over him with fire. Give me one second. And he died and died for his sins, which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of the Lord and walking in the way of Jeroboam and his, in his sin, which he did to make Israel sin. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrought, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son of Ginnath, to make him king and half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Tibni. The son of Janath of Tibni died and Omri reigned. And the thirty and one year as the king of Judah began Omri to reign over Israel twelve years. Six years reigned he in Terza. And he and he bought the hill. Hold on. False alert, nothing but the devil. For his sins which he sinned in doing evil in the sight of the Lord and walking in the way of Jeroboam and his sin which he did to make Israel sin. Now the rest of the acts of Zimri and his treason that he wrought are they not written in the books of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? Then were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Tibni, the son of Ganath, to make him king, and half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Tibni, the son of Ganath. So Tibni died and Omri reigned. In the thirtieth and one year, Asa, king of Judah, began Omri and reigned to reign over Israel twelve years. Six years reigned he in Tirzah. And he bought the hill Samaria of Shemer for two talents of silver and built on the hill and called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shemer, owner of the hill Samaria. But Omri would walk evil in the eyes of the Lord and did worse than all that were before him. 
before he walked in all the way of Jerobam, the son of Nebat, and then his sin wherewith he made Israel to sin to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. Now the rest of the acts of Omri, which he did in his might that he skewed, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? So Omri slept with his fathers and was buried in Samaria, and Ahab his son reigned in his stead. And in the thirty and eight year, Isaac, king of Judah, began to have. Now, almost over. Already over with. I have the son of Omri to reign over Israel, and I have uh, the son of Omri reigned over Israel and Samaria twenty and two years. And I have the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord, above all that were before him. And it came to pass. As if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Then he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Zidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the highs of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And I have made a grove, and I have the motor provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger. Then all the kings of Israel that, that were before him. In his days did hell the Bethlehite build Jericho. He laid the foundation thereof in Abiram, his first bone, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua, the son of Nun. That's it. Uh, so basically what I take from it is, is this was just another chronological uh, breakdown and not only the bloodlines, but uh, literally the Bible, in my opinion, allows you, if you put in the time to study it, a track back all the way to the first people. Uh, and that's what we see in my world. It might be also my lack of sleep does not really allow me to get more thought into it, but that's why I record it, because you know, hey, you might have something different, and you leave a comment, I can read and learn too. But anyway, y'all be blessed and keep God first. God bless you. Bye-bye.